Good evening, uh, board members and uh, Superintendent Vital. Uh, I'm Damon Smith. I am the Associate Superintendent with the Alameda County Office of Education. And allow me to introduce uh, Jeff Potter over here, who is our Executive Director uh, for our District Business and Advisory Services, which uh, oversees and runs the AB 1200 unit. Uh, thought I'd stop by tonight. What quite a festive meeting you're having tonight. Um, <laughs> there, uh, and uh, there's been uh, some discussion recently about a letter that we sent to uh, your uh, Chief Business Officer, Robert uh, Shumwell, regarding Measure H. And I've had a number of calls from my friends in CTA, as well as my friends in the district, uh, seeking clarification on what that letter meant and what was the county office's position regarding uh, the AB 1200 responsibilities vis-a-vis -vis, uh, the district's uh, fiscal health and, and the contingent liability resulting from the the court case. Um, and, and simply, it, it's it's that this case has moved from a case of uh, where it just simply is a footnote in your uh, audit of the potential liability case to where it now needs to be reflected in your actual financial statements at the second interim. And our letter to uh, Mr. Shemwell uh, if effectively was saying that uh, we are asking the board to adopt some kind of contingency plan that accounts for the fact that it is now a real possibility and an unfortunate possibility that you may have to refund uh, taxes as a result of the lawsuit. Um, the uh, amount that needs to be ref uh, reserved is uh, obviously a matter for this board to decide. Uh, obviously, the litigation is a closed session manner, and as, as such, the county office is uh, unable to give you a specific number to reserve. That said, the number needs to be something that you and the administration feels adequately protects the district uh, from its potential uh, liability and would prevent this district from going into receivership should you have an adverse decision. And that could include up to reserving the full $7.4 million uh, as needed in your financial statements. Uh, again, the county office is not dictating a specific number, as has been said. Uh, but nor is it a number that can just be willy-nilly. It needs to be a number that reflects what the board feels is the contingent liability uh, that the district may incur as a result of a finding from the court. Uh, with that, I know you don't normally uh, take questions, but I would willing to take questions from the board if uh, that would not violate your protocol. This is a public comment, so this is a public comment, so we cannot uh, respond. That's that's fine. Uh, I just. Make, make sure I'm making myself available to you if you wish. Um, Can you provide your contact information? The County Office of Education is out there. Correct. Uh, uh, the superintendent as well as uh, chief business officer have that. So, All right. Well, thank you very much. I hope that uh, you need more clarification, maybe a nod of the head, or is that good? All right. Thank you.